Hey everybody. Okay, so I am coming on to give you the uh, 411 about my visit today at the radiologist. So today, it's right now, it is four o'clock and I have just got out of the hospital, the cancer unit, the treatment unit. Um, I arrived there at 10 and just got out at 4. So I have had a extremely long day. <laughs> so I had to go and get my catheter in my port, go up to the doctor's office, um, talk to the oncologist, then go up to the um, cancer unit floor and get my immune therapy. And during all this, the computers went out. So at check-in, they had problem checking people in. Then they give you a little badge that you put on your shirt so they can, t they can uh, follow you or know where you're at in the hospital at all times. So you put that on they're having trouble doing that um, so when you when I get up to the oncology what well, once they draw the labs out of your port they send it to the lab and they you know they send the report up to the oncologist well because they were having difficulties with the computer my blood work was delayed and coming back to give permission for me to get the immune therapy because they check your, you know, they check your red blood cells, white blood cells, your um, kidney function, your liver function, all of that stuff. So I couldn't get that back yet. So once the computers got turned back on, they got overloaded. And um, once I got up to the next floor after the oncology, to get my immune therapy well they couldn't release the medicine or they couldn't get it made yet because it gets made on site in the lab um, but you have to get the, in order for them to release the okay to make your chemo treatment or your immune therapy treatment you have to verify that your red blood cells white blood cells your everything is okay your kidneys your liver function your kidney function all of that so I waited over two hours to get it taken care of two hours yeah so then after all the paperwork and and all the um, lab work was back and the computers were on then it took them another, a while to make it because now they were backed up from, you know, all the orders coming in at once. <sighs> so then after that, then I go down to radiology. But first, the cancer center had to redo my appointment because my appointment for radiology was at 1245 which I surpassed that big time and they did squeeze me in at two. So um, I was lucky I did get squeezed in at two. So once we got to radiology, they talked to me, they examined me, made sure that the blood that's filled back up in, that, in my breast wasn't something that needed to be drained, which he said the body will absorb that much of it, but they just, it just couldn't for the, the stuff that I had removed the other day. I made a video on it. So, you can't write this stuff, y'all. You can't write it. I am so tired of going, doing all the doctory stuff. Not that I, they're great people, but, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot. So, once they, so they rescheduled my appointment to two. So I got all my immune therapy treatment done, went down, back downstairs, all the way to the ground floor, got to the radiology, sat in the waiting room there for about half an hour, 45 minutes, 
got back to the room and talked about, you know, he examined it and made sure everything was fine and made sure the scarring, the uh, incision was healing well, which it is, everything's great. So now the next step for radiology, now that I'm done with the chemo, is getting radiation. And so now next week I have to go in for a, a body scan to see what position is going to be best so that they hit that area in no other part of my body or skin or any of my organs. So I'm going to have to lay in a certain position for 20 minutes during radiology or the radi the, during the radiation. Um, so I have to go in for a scan and after I get the scan, then he'll be able to give me my plan. But my I do know that it'll be six weeks, Monday through Friday, every single day for six weeks for radiation for my type of cancer that I had um, since it was triple negative. If you don't know what triple negative is, look it up. It, it's not good. It's because it's went into your lymph nodes and it could, it could travel anywhere between now and being cancer free. Um, it could go, it could pop back up anywhere just because it does not um, respond to any of the hormone treatments or anything like that. So, so he told me, he, they gave me samples. They gave me these samples, skin samples of lotions and stuff to use during radiation because not only will I have to sit a certain way and hold my breath so that my breast is away from my heart because it's on the left side I ha I'll have to hold my breath for a certain amount of time so that it is the furthest away from my heart while they're doing the radiation and after that and during that I have to moisturize that area really super good because um, it could be burning discoloring the discoloring I don't care about the peeling my skin peeling mm, I don't care about blistering yes I care about my skin may be cracking open in the area where I get radiation your my breast crack open what oh y'all it doesn't stop it doesn't end I know that I listen I've been positive throughout this whole time but when there when she tells me that I'm gonna have to moisturize because you know they start off little with oh you know it might dry out it might peel well is it peeling because it's burning the crap out of your skin <laughs> oh my gosh I, I can't. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just... For six weeks, every single day, I'm going to have to drive 45 minutes there, 45 minutes back. Plus, still get my immune therapy in my port and go through this every, every three weeks. So every day for six weeks, radiation, every three weeks, still immune therapy. <sighs> oh my gosh, it's a lot, you guys. And then plus, it's, it could be cracking and your skin crack open. Your, it could cause blistering. What? It's just keeps going and the blood filled back up in my in my breast he said we're gonna give it until Monday to see what happens so Monday is when I go for my scan my body scan It just doesn't end. 
it just doesn't end. I know. Stay strong. Keep going. I know. But there are times that I just want to say, you know what? I don't want to do it anymore. I just don't. I want to get back to normal, but how can you? I've got another month and a half to two months of the radiation and then I still have immune therapy for another nine more weeks so I don't know I guess I should just be lucky and blessed that I'm one of the ones that the chemotherapy worked on and I don't have um, cancer it killed all the cancer that was in my body well in those areas and hopefully in my body if it's spread anywhere else so I need to feel blessed and I need to feel like I am one of the ones that escaped from the death sentence really because triple negative breast cancer especially stage three five years ago was a death sentence so I don't know. I have nothing to complain about, but man, my breasts are going to crack open and blister. Oh, well, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. What can I do? What can I say? Like I said, I can't complain. I'm, I'm blessed. And I need to be grateful. I'm just going to pray about it and leave it at God's feet. And hope that it doesn't blister and my breasts don't crack open. Oh, crack open. The skin crack open and blister. <sighs> what the hell? Oh, okay. It's going to be okay. Listen, if it cracks open, if it blisters, we'll just have to deal with it then. We'll just have to... <sighs> what do you do? What do you do? You can't do anything about it. It is what it is. <sighs> I think this radiation adventure is going to probably start not next week because I have my body scanned, but the week after. So, radiation until October. Here we come. Radiation till October every day for Monday through Friday until October. And then still throughout doing all that is immune therapy infusions at the cancer center we're almost there you guys we're at the finishing gate just pray for me that I make it through this my boobs are might crack open and blister you guys crack open and blister everybody's plan is different he said I have to have a very strong plan that's why it's Monday through Friday every day because of the type of cancer it is and the severity of it. So that's the update. That's the update y'all. The update, we're going to live through this. We're going to survive. We're at the finishing line. I can't give up now. I just keep going. Put my head down and barrel through it. That's what we got to do. Just put your head down and barrel through it. You guys, I am having a difficult time with the loss of my dog. I cried the whole time today at the, at the hospital. The whole time. I made a spectacle of myself. I couldn't help it. I just couldn't stop crying. I never loved a dog so much. It's like losing my child. Oh. 
my dog has broken my heart. I don't know. Things will get better. All right. Love you all so much. Thank you all for the prayers. Thank you all for the love, the support, and all the encouragement. Until next video. And thank you all also for subscribing to my other channel. And let me stay busy by shopping and reselling stuff. And hopefully make flipping for a little bit of a profit. And being able to supplement some of the income I lost when I got terminated while I was doing chemotherapy treatment. <sighs> Thank you all for so your support in that as well. It means everything to me. Thank you so much. I love you all so much and I'll see you on the next video. Love y'all. Bye.